Hey, I got a quick one for you today. We're gonna talk about the secret shortcut to fame and fortune. Boy, are you in a good place today. What we're talking about today is a little thing called the 80-20 rule. I'm not sure if you've heard of the 80-20 principle before, also called the Pareto principle. Here's the idea. If you were able to cut up like a, let's say a pie into 80%, and this is 20% over here. It's just representative. It's a, the basic idea is that you can get tw that oftentimes if you if you break things down, 20% of the effect comes from 80% of the cause. Okay. So what or, or excuse me, 80% of the effect comes from 20% of the cause. So what this basically means is that a lot of that, you can break it down to a bunch of different ways because it's throughout nature. It basically shows you that throughout nature, things are always unequal. <laughs> okay, the things that are creating the 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 biggest the, the the greatest outcome come from the smallest amount, or, or the, the smallest percentage. Uh, let me see if we can break this down any further here. It, let's just look at your what you do for a living. 80% of your output comes from 20% of your efforts. So there's a very small amount of what you do, and it's not just specifically 80 to 20. What it means is that a very small amount of your efforts create most of your output. If you look at what you're actually paid for, think about what you actually get paid to do. You, you probably put in a very small percentage of the time that you put in doing all the different things that you do only about 20% of that is actually creating most of what you get back from it. So anytime you can sit down and actually pull down all the different things that you do and look at where am I getting the most output from, you're gonna find it's a small amount, it's a 20, it's 20%, it's a 10%, is gonna create 90% of your output and so on and so forth. If you can find what that is, and it's always an action item, it's always an action item. If you could focus more on that action item, if you put in more time into that action item, you'd get a higher amount coming back and it becomes exponential. So the secret to success is really focusing on one specific action focusing on one specific action that will give you the greatest output. In most cases, in most businesses that I end up working with, what we end up finding is there is not enough of a specific offer made to the specific, to the ideal client, the most possible ideal client or customer. It's not made often enough. So if that company focuses on just getting that offer out over and over and over and over again, more often putting that offer out, that one action item will create huge success in the long run if they're consistent with it. If you can find that one action, maybe it's making a phone call, maybe it's, it's putting out an ad, if you can find the one action that will lead to greater output in your business and put more focus on it, Maybe you've got staff that you can actually have focus more on it. Maybe you need to focus personally more on it, but it needs to be focused on. It's an action item. Action needs to happen. The real problem is, is that we all, as business owners, as, people, as employees, we end up focusing on all the things that don't matter and we don't focus enough on the things that do matter. One of the most common things that I'm guilty of is I will, when I'm first getting into a new market, when I'm first getting into learning something new, a new skill, I will go and I will study it to death. I will look into it from every angle. I'll try to find out everything I can about that item. And it takes me too long to get to the action mode. When the action mode is where most of, most of your knowledge actually comes from the action. It's getting out there, putting it out there, finding out more about it and getting some response back, switching it, getting it back out there, getting your ideas out there, getting your offer out there. That's what it's all about. It's really all about in the long run, the action item. 
getting to action as quickly as possible. Specific, focused action. Find out what that is for you, get around to it faster. That's a huge secret to success. Fame and fortune's right around the corner for you, I guarantee it. Now, I, normally I have my little, my little board that has, has my special website on it. I don't have that here because somehow I misplaced it, but I'm gonna draw it out for you. I'll, I'm not gonna show it to you, but I will tell you it is for specifically for a specific type of person. And that type of person is an owner or an executive of a business in the self-reliance field. So if you own a business where you guys provide uh, services, products to people to help them become more self-reliant, you're somebody I'd like to talk to. I want you to go to this website, dreambizchat.com. Uh, hopefully you can read that. It's dreambizchat.com. At dreambizchat.com, there's a little application you could fill out. If, if you're the type of person that would qualify for a free chat with me, I'd love to be able to chat with you. You'd walk away with hopefully a plan, a more clearer idea of how to take your business from where it is to really being your dream business. I'm gonna walk away with learning a bit more about your industry because it's, it's kind of in the phase that I'm in right now. So go to dreambizchat.com. We can get to know each other. If, for example, we find something that we can work on in the future together, I'm not against that. But right now, I'm in the research phase on the self-reliance field. So I'd love to hear more about that. I'm happy you guys could all join us. Next time when we get to together tomorrow, we're gonna to be talking about abundance versus scarcity. So do you really think that your success and everything that you do in life is based on the resources that you have at hand? Or do you think that there's more than enough resources available to you even at this very moment for you to be able to do what you need to do? That's the real question that we have is, is what, what is it? Is it all about abundance? Is the world fully abundant, have more than enough that you need? Or is it about scarcity? Is, is, is the things that you're lacking really holding you back in life? We'll talk about that tomorrow. Have a good night.